What's going on, TJ Ties? We back for your weekly motivation. You got the strength to be on the inside. All we got to do is get it out, baby. I'm pumped up. I'm excited. Listen, I was I was sitting down in the living room talking to my family, and this commercial came on, and it it caught my attention. And, and in the commercial was a young lady. She was sitting in a coffee shop, and she was looking over a, a, a document that seemed like it was an important document. She was sitting there sipping her coffee, looking it over. And while she was sitting there, she she glanced outside. She saw a homeless man sitting on the curb, and and the homeless man was, was drenched. He was soaking wet because it was pouring outside. And she looked at him for a second. And then she turned her attention back to what she was focusing on, looking at her paperwork. And she looked down at her watch and as if she had some place to be. And then she began to pack up her belongings. And she got up and she walked towards her door. She opened the door and she was walking outside. And she began to head in the direction of her destination. While she was walking, she stopped. Misstep, she stopped as, as if a light bulb had clicked on. And she looked back and she saw the homeless man sitting on the curb. And she walked over towards the homeless man and she, she knelt down. It looked as if she might have whispered something to him. I'm not sure if she did or not, but she, she knelt down. She took an umbrella and she gave the homeless man her umbrella. Did you hear what I said? She, she knelt down and she gave the homeless man her umbrella. She, and this is a woman who she has on you know, dress clothes as if she has someplace important to be, but she gave the homeless man her umbrella and she, she, she stood back up and she began to walk towards her destination. And, and she, 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 when she got to her destination, wherever that may have been, she sat down and when she, she sat down, two people next to her, they scooted over because she was soaking wet. She was dressed and they kind of you know, didn't even look at it. It looked as if, as if you know, she was somebody they didn't want to sit next to. And she, she opened her briefcase up and she reached inside and she, she pulled out the envelope that contained the important paper and it was wet and she put it back inside. And just as she put it back inside, the person came out to call her into what appeared to be an interview. And she got up and she walked into the interview. Listen, I don't know if she got the job or not, but she got the reward. Did you hear what I said? I have no idea if she, if she got the job, but she got the reward because the reward is she became a better person. The reward is she grew as a person because she gave of herself. That's right. I, listen, I don't care what money you have. I don't care what kind of car you drive. I don't care what kind of house you're in. If you're not giving of yourself, you're not truly growing. You're not truly becoming a better person. I put the old me to death. I laid the old me to rest. The old me, the old T, that was me, 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 I, I, I. And now that I've learned the power of giving, then I know I can grow. So she might not have got that job, but she got the reward. How many of you are so caught up in your own storm that you don't have the time to take a look at somebody else who's going through a worse storm than you? How many of you are so caught up in having your own pity party that you don't even have the time, the, the wherewithal to look and see somebody else is going through so much more than what you're going through, but you're so caught up in yourself, you're so caught up in your pity party, so caught up in your storm, you can't tell that he's getting more drenched than you're getting drenched. Have you, have, you, have, you, have you had an opportunity to take time out your day to be of a help to somebody, to be a blessing to somebody, to, to, to give? It's, it's better to give than to receive. You've heard it before. So my question to you is real simple. It's almost Valentine's Day. And we're talking about love and love and love and love. Listen, love is more than a feeling. Love is an action. And if you're not showing love in action, stop talking about it. If you're not showing love in your actions, listen, anybody can love their mother. Anybody can love their father. Anybody can love their sister. Anybody can love their spouse. But can you love on a stranger? Can you be a blessing to a stranger? Can you give to someone when you are going through your pain? Can you give to someone when you are going through your storm? Because if you can't do that, you can't truly show love. That's unconditional love. And so listen, you have the strength to be anything you want to be. But you will not become the best you till you learn to give. And you give and give and give until you have nothing left to give. I believe in you, but I need you to believe in yourself. You got it on the inside. All we got to do is get it out.